Hey guys, sorry it's been so long since I made a video. I've been pretty busy getting ready for fire season and uh, doing some projects around the house. You know, life stuff happens. But I'm back and I wanted to do a quick review over some maps I got in the mail. <clears throat> These are uh, custom maps that I made on mytopo.com. These are these two maps are uh, what we called go to war maps when I was stationed in Korea. These are maps that get put away and never touched until shit hits the fan and you need maps. Nice thing about mytopo.com is you can give your maps custom labels, which I'm not showing here because it shows the area these are for and I don't want to give up my uh, SHTF plans too much. I'm sure you guys understand. They also uh, allow you to put your name on them or, you know, whatever. As you see here, map created for Central Oregon Desert Explorers. Uh, these maps, you can get them in printed three different ways. You can get them on glossy paper, uh, you can get them fully laminated, or what I got here is uh, the standard waterproof paper and and tear resistant paper with fade proof or fade resistant and water resistant ink, all that good stuff. Uh, the quality of the paper it it's, feels pretty strong. I'm pretty sure it's the same paper they use for hunting and fishing licenses. It feels the same. Uh, these maps, the way I got them, they were just uh, taken from standard USGS, their standard USGS maps, and then uh, put together for my needs. I have two maps here. The smaller one is a uh, two foot by three foot, one to ten thousand scale map. Uh, the larger one is a three foot by four foot one at 25,000 scale map. One thing that's nice about these maps is they show you which USGS map sheets the maps cover. Here it has it shows the eight different sheets and in red here is the area that this map covers. Down below it gives the uh, map sheet names the date the maps were made and the contour interval. And I'm not showing that again because I don't want to give up too much information about the area that these maps are for. And here on the uh, 1 to 10,000 scale map you can see it takes up just a small spot that covers the corners of four different USGS maps. What's nice about this is USGS maps run, I believe, $15 each. So to get this area, that would be $120 worth of maps. This map was $29.95. And it's all in one map, not eight different maps. So I have to carry around eight maps and, you know, either switch back and forth or cut out and taped together. And of course they put your uh, declination diagram in a scale for uh, this one has miles and kilometers. The uh, my 1 to 10,000 scale map has feet and meters obviously because it covers a sm much smaller area. The one down, downfall to these maps is uh, they don't include a, uh, a legend, which isn't a, too big of a deal. If you use maps, you pretty much know the legend. You can figure it out. So right here, you can see where they spliced two of the maps together, and they did a really good job. All the uh, contour lines line up 
almost perfectly. There are some that are just dead on. Some of them are real close. They're a little off, but you know, that's to be expected. But they just did a phenomenal job of getting everything lined up perfectly. Notice the uh, grids marked in blue is uh, one thing I added. And that Those are uh, UTM grids or grid lines. And I also had them put tick marks along the edges with latitude and longitude. That way I can give coordinates multiple different ways if need be. If you need maps, I would highly recommend going to mytopo.com. Getting a custom map to what area you want, what scale you want. You can customize it almost any way you want and it'll still end up being cheaper than USGS maps, but it'll be the same stuff and higher quality in my personal opinion. So one problem you may have with these maps, uh, this doesn't affect me at all, but no matter what scale you use, or no matter what scale you choose, the maps are still are taken from the same scale maps. They're all the same USGS. Uh, most of them are going to be 1 to 24,000 scale, so that's going to affect them a little bit. The 1 to 25,000 scale, not so much, but the 1 to 10,000 scale, it's going to be have a little bit of an impact. Uh, typically, the lower the scale, the more um, the more detail you get. But in this case, all they're doing is zooming in on the map. To give you an example, this is what you'd see on the 1 to 25,000 scale map. And this is what you'll see on the 1 to 10,000 scale map. It's just zoomed in. There's no additional details. It's just zoomed in quite a bit. Like, like I said, for my purposes, it doesn't affect me at all. Uh, your purposes may vary, so, you know, if you want a proper lower scale map, don't go with this because all you're doing is getting the same map zoomed in. But other than that, these maps are just phenomenal. I highly recommend my topo, or going to mytopo.com and cust or customizing maps. So if you have any questions about these maps that I haven't answered in the video, you know, feel free to comment and I'll answer them as best I can. But uh, please go check out mytopo.com. And this is not a paid advertisement for them. You know, they've haven't given me anything. I've paid for these maps. I just think they're that good of quality. We'll see you on the next video.